Uh, Connor, that, that game started like a lot of games have started recently, but it didn't end that way. Right? The last 40 minutes, uh, you guys brought something to that you haven't brought a whole lot of lately. What, what do you think was different? What changed? You know, I, I thought our second period was good. We really uh, dictated the pace of the period, drew a few, drew a few uh, penalties, and, and, and our power play was able to capitalize, I think. Power play is a big part of our game, and you know, we were able to, to get ourselves back into it. And, um, you know, just scratch and claw to, to find a way to get a win. That's how you get out of this. Uh, Evan, you, uh, I know the fans have been putting you on the power play for about two years in this town. Um, you get on there tonight, and, and boom, the pucks are going in. Is it, I guess I would ask you, how long have you been looking forward to that opportunity to be that guy in that spot? Um, well, I think if you ask any player that question, any player wants that um, position, you just got to work at it. You know, Tice runs it great, and... Um, I just got the opportunity because he was out, but um, like I said, I think any player would want to want to be on a power play. Evan, you don't slap the puck; those were wrist shots. Are you seeing something from there? At least with the slap shot, maybe a guy can get out and block it, but you get it away quickly. Has that always been your your mo? Uh, well, I think a big part of putting it through is making sure it went by the first guy and. Uh, and luckily for me, Jesse was doing a great job net front. He was doing the, uh, the dirty work in front, and that's what uh, you know, that's how goals come. Thank you. Hey, hey Connor. Um, Leon mentioned it earlier that there was a bit of a, a, a cloud hanging over the team when, when the losses pile up, even if in some of those losses you guys kind of maybe thought you deserved a better fate. What is something like this, not just winning, but how you want to do for just the mental health of the, mental health of the group and maybe open things up moving forward? Yeah, I mean, there's uh, when you're losing games, there's obviously a bad feeling. Um, you know, we're human. We have feelings. You know, we, uh, you know, that, that that you know those losses pile up and they weigh on you. It's it's uh, it's you know just human nature. So you know, it's nice to find a way to get a win and you know hopefully build a little momentum here. Connor, uh, given all the outside noise, particularly in one position outside of the locker room, when you see Miko Koskinen make that save halfway through the third period in a tie game. What did that do for your group? That's massive. You know, um, you know Meeks is a guy that, uh, you know, he's been, uh, um, you know, he's faced a lot of criticism. You know, same with a lot of our group. But, um, you know, he's a guy that we want to battle for. And, um, you know, he played great for us tonight. You know, he made a, a lot of big saves. And, you know, that one in particular was massive for us. Um, you know, gave us a chance to win. Uh, on... Uh, Evan's second goal of the night. Uh, we talked about Ryan Nugent Hopkins this morning and how much this group misses a guy like Nugent Hopkins. Did you maybe steal something out of his playbook on that behind the back pass on the left hand side to set up uh, Bouchard for a second? Uh, yeah, Nugent runs a, a great power play on that side. You know, there's no doubt about it. Um, and we miss him out there and um, just trying to fill the void for a little bit. And, and, uh, you know, it's pretty easy when Boost shoots it like you know, like he does. Um, you just got to get the puck in his hands, and you know, he's going to make a good play. So um, he had the hot stick tonight, and um, you know, he uh, did a great job up there. Thanks, Connor. Um, sorry, Connor. Here, um, can you maybe take us uh, not so much maybe into the room, but maybe just inside your heads after a, a first period? You know, you're down, and you guys come out. Did you just sort of continue doing what what you have been doing? And then, Evan, you've sort of played this role as a, a power play quarterback your whole career, is it a lot different when you get to the NHL and do it, or is it just sort of similar to the growth you've had throughout your career? Um, you know, it's hard to kind of change power plays up. You know, it's either this way or that way. Um, but with the guys we have on the power play, it makes it uh, you know, that much easier. They move the puck. Like I said, guys in front, uh, you know, doing a, playing a good role. So I think that was, uh, that was huge. Uh, I kind of forget your question. Uh, okay, so did I. Uh, just a little bit about uh, just staying with it, confident, uh, pushing forward when you're when you're down, and eventually getting what you want. Yeah, I mean, it would have been uh, would have been easy to, to to fold up shop and and uh, you know, worry about the next one. You know, down two and and uh, um, you know, but I thought our group responded well. You know, um, we came out and I thought uh, I thought we were the better team in the second. Meeks kind of held us in it, and, and like I said, you know, we had our chances, drew our, drew our power plays, and, and uh, found a way to get us back uh, into the game.